Hi everybody. This is oops, Mr. Folly, although I'm not drawing right now. This is Mr. Folly. And welcome to Podcast. I don't know, six point three, I think we're at the last one here. So if we are looking at thirty five grams of C three H eight is burning, how many joules of heat will be released? Okay. So um using the problem from above. Uh-oh, can I steal your coffee thing? Oh. Let me uh Okay, so 35 grams of C3H8 is burned. How many joules of heat will be released? So we have to use this delta H from before. Okay. And what happens is um, on this, this tells us 55 point, I'm sorry, 553 kilojoules. So on this, it raised it uh, 45 degrees. So that means that heat is produced. So that gives us 553 kilojoules, okay? So what we have to do now is um, we have to balance this equation. So we have C3H8. So let's hope it's an easy one to balance. Three. Uh, I got four. I got eight H's over here, so I need four over here. So I've got six oxygens. I got ten oxygens. I got five, okay? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do 35 grams. C3H8 times dividing bar grams of C3H8, one mole of C3H8. Little g stands for grams and little g stands for So we are looking at three carbons, three times, whoops, three times 12.01 plus um, 8.08 .08 for all eight, oops, um, of those guys. So 44.11, and then times dividing bar, and then notice one mole of C3H8 equals, now notice, this is my delta H, that's delta H, delta H goes right here, okay? And so one mole of that equals 553 kilojoules of heat, okay? So when I do that, um, let me just make sure I'm in the right joules here. Yep, we're in kilojoules. So this is going to come out in kilojoules, so 35 divided by 44.11 times 553 is going to give me 439 kilojoules, right, because all the rest of these cancel. And then to get that in joules, it's going to be 439,000 joules. Okay, so you can use the coefficients to figure out how, many, how much heat's going to be released. Coefficients in the balance equation. The delta H for a reaction is constant, will not change. A change in temperature and pressure could change it, but this is not included in the equation. All right, so we're going to look at bond enthalpies. Chemical reactions occur when bonds are broken or formed. So Lewis dot structure will show the bonds. We've got our breaking, and we got our forming. Right? Um, so CH4 has four C to H bonds. Hey, how about that? And our old friend BARF, breaking absorbs energy and releasing forms bonds. Okay. So how much heat is released um, through the complete combustion of propane C3H8? So I know we did that before, but we're going to pretend we're using different numbers here in a different roundabout way of doing it. So here we have bond enthalpies. So if we have our Lewis dot structure, so again, um, Lewis dot structures, are shown in the bonds. I guess show the bonds. Okay. So in this case, does it make sense that I'd have to break all of these and form all of these? Right? And notice how C3H8, I've got one of them, I got one of them, I've got five of them, I got five of them, I got three of them, I got four of them. Okay. So then to do this, we just have to add them all up. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight C to H's plus one, two, two C to C's plus one, two, three, four, five, five O double O plus 
Um, over here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six C double O, but I'm going to put a negative sign here because I'm forming these. And then plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times negative O to H. So then let's plug in some numbers for this. C to H is 413 plus two times carbon to carbon is 348 plus five times O to O, O double O, O double O, O double O. Here's O2, so that'll work. 495 plus six times negative C double O. C double O is 799 plus eight times negative O to H, O to H, 463, and that's it. So we should expect a negative answer when I put that in my calculator. So let's take a look and see. Eight times 413, enter, plus quantity two times 348, close, plus quantity five times 495, close, plus quantity six times negative 799, close, plus eight, oh, plus quantity eight times negative 463, close, and I get negative 2023. And that's going to be kilojoules per mole. And notice up here, these are in kilojoules per mole. Okay. Now, I want to apologize. I made up the last problem that used propane, and we came up with different um, delta H's. They should be the same. Okay. So just so you know, I did a bad thing. Okay. And the reaction between CH2, Cl2, plus Br2, uh, is it endothermic or exothermic? Calculate the energy involved in this reaction. In all honesty, I'm skipping this one. It's the exact same thing as the last one. So I'm going to save you some time. All right. Enthalpy of formations. Delta H F. Okay. That's formation. Enthalpy of formation is the energy required to form one mole of a substance from elements in their standard state. Standard state is the state of matter at room temperature. Standard state is diatomic if it's diatomic. So um, elements in their standard state have a heat of formation of zero. Elements, not compounds, elements. The reaction to form CH3OH would be, okay, so I've got to make CH3OH, I need carbons, I need hydrogens, I need oxygens, okay? And then if I do this, I'm like, okay, fine, I got that, and I've got my little balanced dudes here. But remember, it has to be one mole. So then this is correct for one mole. The equation for heat of formation or um, delta H of a reaction, I'm going to change this. Um, well, that's true. Um, the other thing that partners with that is delta H of the reaction is delta H products minus delta H reactants. Okay. Um, reactants will all be zero up here when we're talking about heat of formation because all those are zero. Here's a monstrosity of a table that has all of our delta H's whee, that we probably care to use. Okay. Now, if you find yourself stuck and you want more, oh, that one's even bigger. I just didn't want to put that in here. Okay. Um, is the combustion of propane endothermic or exothermic? Oh, we did that already. Um, combustion is always exothermic. I didn't prove this very well. How much energy is absorbed or released? Assume standard condition. So we'll do this. Delta H of the reaction equals delta H of the products minus delta H of the reactants. Okay, so my products are three CO2s. So three times CO2. So I need to look on this table for CO2. And again, oops, I'm looking at CO2. I swear I saw it and now I lost it. Carbon dioxide, there it is, is negative 39. I don't think that's right. I'm going to ask my phone. What is the heat of formation for carbon dioxide? Come on, Siri, let me know. Yeah, okay, I didn't think that was right. This is negative 393.5. Okay, so I think, I wonder if this whole thing's a little messed up. So... Three times 
negative 393.5. And then 502s plus 5 times 0. Why did I not even look for 0? Well, let's see here. I'll look for oxygen, but look, it has 0 for its delta H. Oh, why? It's an element in its standard state. 5 times 0. Products minus distribute the negative. 3 times CO2. Oh, I, you see what I did there? I already messed it up. I forgot it's product minus reactant. So this is 3 times CO2, and I apologize for this. Just to show you that this happens to the best of us. Plus 4, i got to put water in there. So CO2, check, and then i do 4 H2Os. H2O, now, oftentimes there's different states of matter on here. So we got H2O right here. I've only got one, so I'll do negative 286 because that's the right one. 4 times negative 286 minus distribute C3H8. Please be here, C3H8. Please be here through C3H8. I don't know. I don't see it. So if that should happen, this is why we got this guy right here. Dun, 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 dun. C3H8. Dun, 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 dun. I put him here so we find them all. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Control click a boo. Opening does something I don't like. Uh, I'm bold, so I'm looking for C3H8 now. Carbon, C3H8, delta H is negative 103.85. Negative 103.85. Minus negative 103.85. Plus 5 times 0. So I already talked about why oxygen is 0. It's an element in standard state. So we drop that into our calculators. 3 times negative 393.5 plus quantity 4 times negative 286. Close quantity, enter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do minus and I'm going to parent. Oh, I guess it's just plus, isn't it? So this is just plus. All right, distribute my negative sign. And this is nothing. 103.85. And I get negative 2220. So this would be this. Okay. And that's for the heat of the reaction or heat of combustion. All right. So we've got to be able to write the heat of formations of butane. So this means I want to make butane, C4H10. To do that, I want carbon plus hydrogen. Okay, they're in their standard states. I need four carbons. Check. I need five hydrogens. Check. That's the delta H of butane. Now, if I want to do the heat of combustion of butane, I do C4H10 plus O2 yields CO2 plus H2O. Remember, this is going to have to be a one. So let's balance it. Four, five, so four carbons, 10 oxygens, this gives me eight, plus five is 13, so I gotta drop the 13 halves O2. All right, last part. Hess's law flippy flippy. Um, steps in an equation can be out of order or any order, okay? So we're gonna look at steps of the equations. Um, and notice there's a step, here's a heat. Here's a step, here's a heat, okay? You can multiply a step and that multiplies the coefficients and delta H. You can flip a step making products and reactants and reactants products. This changes the sign of delta H. This is our goal reaction. So what I like to do first is make my product that I care about, C2H6. Here's C2H6. So what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to flip it. And I want one C2H6. So I'm going to have two CO2s plus... 3H2Os gives me C2H6 plus 3.5 O2. So cha-ching, I got that one down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is try and just put some of the reactants in there. Okay. C2H4 looks kind of complicated, so let's see if we can get that guy in there. Okay. C2H4, I only want one of them, right? So I don't have to multiply by anything. Plus 
plus 3O2 will give me two CO2s plus two H2Os. Oh no, I forgot to do this. I flipped this guy, so this becomes positive. Oops, I flipped it. 15, 60. And this one I left alone, so it's negative 1411. Okay. Then the last one, I guess I need a hydrogen. Do I have any hydrogens in here yet? Nope, so that's pretty good. So I'm just going to leave this A-OK. -okay. Hydrogen plus one-half O2 gives me H2O. Okay, so to make my life happy now, it's still going to be negative 285.8. To make my life happy, I need to make sure that this works out. So I'm going to cancel what I can. Cancel there. And there. Gotcha. Cancel one water and change that to a two. Okay. And then what else do I have? Oh, I guess I got two waters over here still, don't I? So this will take it all the way out. Um, what do I have left? I got two CO2s. Yeah, so much for your highlighting, huh? And all I have left is, oh no, all I have left is C2H4 plus H2 yields C2H6, which was our goal. Shut the front door. Yes, it is. We did it. Ah! So we're going to add all this up. And 1560 plus negative 1411 minus 285.8. It's going to give me quick go to. How about that? So 1560. Minus 1411 minus 285.8. It's going to be negative 136.8. Yeah, how awesome was that? That was so awesome. I can't even tell you. Let's do more. Yeah, we'll do some more. Yeah, we'll do some more. Here's the word mole written for no reason. Oh, there's my mole. Okay, so here's our goal. Goal. All right. So let's start making some products, HCN. So I've got two HCNs here. Oh, no. i got to multiply this whole thing by a half because I want one, not two. So one half H2 uh, plus half a 2 is C, carbon, plus half a nitrogen yields HCN. Oh, no. Um, and then that's going to be divided by 2. So 270.3 divided by 2 is 135.15. My bell rang. I need to be fast. Um, so notice I divided that by two. The next thing I'm going to do is make some H2. H2 is everywhere, though, so I'm going to wait on H2. So I'm going to make NH3. NH3 is right here. I'm going to multiply this by one half. One half. So I'm going to have one half N2 plus three halves H2 yields NH3. I divided it by two, so... 91.8 divided by 2 is 45.9. It's still negative, though. 45.9. And then, oh, no, I need a CH4. Here's a CH4. I need to flip this. Yes, I'm going to flip it. We're going to change this to be positive. And when I flip it, I'm going to have CH4 yields C plus 2H2. And that's going to be positive, 74.9. And then I'm going to make sure that this all adds up, and it does. It's perfectly added up to what I want it to be. And let's figure out what that's going to be. 135.15 minus 45.9 plus 74.9 is 164. It's a positive endothermic reaction. Kilojoules. Ah, oh, and it matches this guy right up here. I'm just out of time. So that'll be it. And I'll say toodles. So long.